Hi everyone, it's Lady Ravenswood, and I hope everyone's having a beautiful day. It's sort of overcast here, but I did promise you an altar tour, so here we go. I have a red altar cloth, red and black, and this is from Mickey Mueller's uh, Etsy shop. I think it's called Magic is a Foot. And it's not really an altar piece. It's a uh, a flag for your yard. But she didn't have any altar cloth, so. And up here I have her print over my altar, which I truly love. Um, I guess we'll start at the top and work our way down to the bottom. On the shelf is a beautiful piece of driftwood that I got at a flea market a couple of years ago. And then, let me see if I can zoom in here. That's my little happy Buddha. And this is a woven bowl that I have some, whoa, hang on a minute. Sorry, going the wrong way. Uh, some beautiful crystals, tumbled stone, and uh, yeah, I'm not sure what they are. I've got bowls of <laughs> crystals that I have no clue what they are. I just thought they were pretty. Now, I do know this is... Uh, yeah, sure you do. You know what everything is, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I know this is rose quartz. <laughs> A rose quartz heart that I got at I Love Lotus on uh, Etsy. I'm thinking this is citrine, but if it is, it's an awfully dark one. Um... This is uh, an amethyst cluster, and so is this, as is this. Um, this is a worry stone, a uh, picture, Jasper maybe? Not really positive. Okay, now up on the shelf. We have some little bottles that I got and my goddess statue. And then that round bottle over there is amethyst chips. And the little geode is uh, amethyst inside. I just thought it was beautiful. Don't remember where I got it. Okay. And then we start over here. This is a candle holder that I got from ravensinthewood.com. Um, if I remember, I'll try to put it in the, down the description. Um, this is a smudging feather that I got from Harmony Creations on Etsy. And behind it is my scrying mirror that I made. It says Aphrodite on the top and Apollo on the bottom. They are my matron goddess and my god. Um, the Blessed Bee plaque I made. This beautiful bowl I got from Harmony Creations. Um, this is my little besom. It kind of keeps things clean. Um, this little altar table um, I got from sorry, I'm getting in the way. I got from also from uh, Ravens in the Wood. This candle holder I got at 
uh, a Goodwill up in Maine when we were there. Uh, the star, the uh, pedicle behind it is handmade. Don't remember where I got it. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's been so long. I've had this thing up for so long. Um, the uh, picture is from Deviant Art. Um, this is the most gorgeous piece of amber that I've ever seen. It has a snake inside. And again, I'm not sure where I got it. Probably from I Love Lotus on Etsy. I get a lot of my crystals from him. Um, this is a bullseye. Yeah, bullseye. This is a crystal, clear crystal, uh, rose quartz, amethyst. Now this is a formation of some sort. Not really positive what it is. I liked it, so <laughs> I got it. This, now it could be a piece of coal. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't, uh, come off, so I don't, I'm not thinking that it is. My son gave me this when I was in Maine. He found a large deposit of this, uh, on a lot he was working at for his landlady. And he brought one home for his wife, and then the next time we went out, he went over and got me one, which... He's such a kind little kid. I'm sorry. He'll always be a little kid to me. <laughs> um, the little elephant is uh, from a friend of mine in uh, Reno. This is a piece of jade that I got. And this is a piece of coral. Brain coral, I think they call it. And this is... An amethyst, and this is, uh, I think it's a smoky quartz point. Um, I'll show you the top of that altar. That's actually just an altar as it stands. It, I just put it on mine because I need a more flat surface. Uh, and there's my calder, my chalice. Sorry. And like I said, I'm crazy about stones. It's another bowl. And my flowers. That's not quite a working candle, but it's what I have right now. Um, bowl of salt. Um, this, whoops, I knocked over my sensor. Come here, you. Sorry. Okay, this is a votive candle holder, and it's a a blue moon or blue moon, and I just couldn't resist it. That is a wood. Sorry. That is a wood plaque that I made. It's got a sun and the moon on it. This is one of my candle holders. And across here, we have my athame. And yes, that's a charmed athame. That's what they call it. <laughs> um, this is from my adopted daughter. She works, she has her own shop on Etsy. It's called Blue Moon Arts and Craft. And she's very talented. Not sure how she made this. And then this one is her logo. It's the blue moon with an owl. And uh, that's her Indian name. She's Catawba Indian. And her Indian name is Blue Moon. And this is a beautiful clear quartz. This, that's my candle snuffer outer, 
This is a box that I got from Walmart. It came just like this for five bucks. It has the cone and uh, small stick incense and the holder and the cute little box. I mean, the, the box is worth five bucks. <clears throat> um, across here we have my pentacle. This is my storm water that I collected a couple of weeks ago. And this <clears throat> is, oh, excuse me, my back is killing me today. This is a pentacle box. Not quite sure where I got it, but in it is a friend of mine is into, uh, what is it? It's a type of karate. I'm not sure. But he also loves dragons, as do I. And I asked him for something of his to take with me when I went to Maine a couple of years ago. And he gave me this. So I keep it on my altar to charge it. Um, yeah. Up on the wall, I have my goddess. Isn't she gorgeous? I just think she's beautiful. Um, and those are oriental coins. Um, over here is my oil cabinet. I will do a tour of that in another video. And there is a I think it's supposed to be a sprinkling can with a Mary Engelbert print on the front. It is cracked, so I don't move it any more than I absolutely have to. Um, up there is more incense, and that is Dan the Dragon. He watches over my uh, altar. That says love. And on my memory board, we have top left is my son and his wife. And a Hylia police patch. Uh, that's where I grew up. That is my son and his wife at their wedding. And that's just a beautiful card that I got. That's my friend that gave me the... Uh, dragon medallion. Those are Ghost Rider tickets and my Twilight tickets and Dark Shadow tickets and the pink one is my tickets to the Elvis concert in 1970. Ladies and gentlemen, Lady Ravenswood loves Elvis. Yes. And that is me and one of my kittens. His name was Patches. Um, the box that says Witches Spells is full of 3 by 5 cards that I have spells on and different things like that. Okay, we'll go over to the left side here. Um, let me move my feather. It's a side that doesn't want to stand up anymore. Um, and my raven. This is George the raven. Say hello, George. He usually sits on my altar. Especially during Shawin. Um, okay. Over here we have my mortar and pestle. Um... These are, let's see, are these my Rider weight? Uh, 
<laughs> no, these are my uh, sexual cards. We won't go there. Um, now, these are my Rider Waits. I've got them in a double bag. <laughs> Does that make sense? No. Uh, this uh, Book of Shadows... I got this from England, and it is so heavy, it's just like a journal with pages. I mean, it's got a good amount of pages, but I haven't used it. I mean, I think it's gorgeous. It's just so heavy. There we go. Oh, yeah, right, like they can see that. Oops. Not really sure. Oh dear, my battery's going to die. It's not supposed to do that. Okay, I will have to cut this off and go switch batteries and make another one. I love you guys. Bye-bye. Blessed be.